welcome to part 5 of CSS. Um, in this part we are going to be looking at a way to validate your code and that is using the W3C which stands for World Wide Web Consortium the folks that put together HTML and you know CSS things like that and there's a couple ways to validate your code one is to type in the address the other way is to upload a file so for example if I browse for a file boy let's see what file should we upload how about the CSS file that we made in the previous tutorial and we can check okay and no errors found so if I was to go and make an error for example I spelled background wrong I'll leave the U out here or maybe I'll put a U in color or I'll do something like font size without the dash okay I'm gonna save that and now I'm gonna go back and upload that same file again. Alright, that's Griffith CSS and check. Sorry, we found the following errors. And it tells me the property background color doesn't exist. Property background color doesn't exist. So this is misspelling. And font size doesn't exist. Alright, so I can go back and this is the way I would go back in here and I would check those individual ones and I know I can fix that one and let's see if I can find the next one I'll take that U out and I will save and then I will go back and try to upload it again here and check it and I have now only one problem and that's background color so it really helps to be able to find something that you've done wrong Alright, so I'm going to go here and try to upload it again just to make sure I've got the last thing fixed. And I will check it. Alright, no errors found. So you can add this kind of little box onto your page. So for example, I could then copy and paste into my document down here at the bottom somewhere. And then when I save and view my page, it would be over here and I can refresh. And at the bottom I would have my W3 CSS certified box. All right, so keep an eye on your code. So that's something I would suggest doing just to check. You don't necessarily have to put your put the CSS box down there, but um, you know, use whatever resources are available. So for example, you you know, you can also just paste in code. Um, for example, if I was to copy this and paste it in here, do check and it tells me congratulations so it's a really useful tool okay you can get to the w3c css validation service to jigsaw.w3.org slash css validator all right and good luck with that and i hope you've enjoyed the css tutorials